Hey Dad, and welcome everyone to another episode of Hey Dad Games Red Dead Redemption 2 playthrough. Um, where did we leave off last time? I'm pretty sure we did... Oh man, I'm not even sure. It's been a little bit. We'll see. We'll see where we left off. I think we were mostly doing things around Clemens Point, helping out Dutch and Bo and getting stuff going with the Braithwaites and the Greys. Yeah, here we are. Oh, that's right. Where we left off last time was we talked to that gentleman out here. The Compson fella. He talked to us about his old homestead. Why don't we go check it out? Let's see what we find. Oh, I do want to quick. If you've noticed when I go to like craft to the fence to like craft certain things or whatever, there are certain things that you need that are like special items. We've gotten that like. This man deserves no earthly respect from us. Oh. I kind of want to check this out. As a sign of respect to our creator, we pay respect to the dead. Oh, Father, what do we say about a man who lost his way so awfully? He carried that awful war with him, rustling horses with a misguided gang of killers. A brave man, undone by pride, doomed to a life of sin and vice. Tell us, Jay, Father. Sir, we're in a moment of grief. <laughs> Let us pray for this man, O oh Father, provide him mercy. Amen. Those were kind words, Father. Maybe. But what good are words? <sighs> okay, then. Bye now. That guy looks like in a fancy red suit. Hi there, mister. Hello. Well, anyway, what I wanted to check out was over here. I'm pretty sure there's an Avalon shell fragment in this house. At least some canned fruit. And there it is. Abalone. Abalone. Not no, how you say it, but. Let's go, girl. I think it was like some small interactive over here, but. We're gonna go check out that Jeremiah Compson thing. And over here, there's actually a fence as well, which maybe it'll show up on our map. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's a cat there. Let's go see if that was all we needed for something. I doubt it, but... Welcome, mister. First time to my shop. Hello, sir. Glad to have a new patron come through. Yeah, now I need a bison horn, a gold earring, and a tusk, silver chain, a slit. Okay. Welcome, mister. First time to my shop. Howdy. Wish my horse looked that nice. Oxes are hard to come by. Yeah. Ox, bulls, cows. They're all well. There are places to find them, of course, but 
they're all necessary usually for some of the better. Load up. No count took the bail. Yeah, exactly. I'm not gonna run right into those explosives. Fellas is running away. Boy, did they make a mistake. Yeah, that's the thing. Is if you see a coach full of explosives up ahead, maybe don't ride right at it. Raiders. This is what happens when you try to F a stranger in the A. Yeah, look at all these Des Moines Raiders running. They didn't even try to shoot me. They turned tail immediately. They act so tough and superior. You may notice that the Jeremiah Compson place, at least I'm fairly sure, is actually where some of that like burned and stuff happened. Ha, there it is. There we go. Friendly shooting competition. Uh, hey there, partner. You interested in a little friendly competition? You a shooting man? I've been looking for a challenge, and I ain't found huh. one yet. Well, What'd don't we say? find out? Good! Whoever shoots the most bottles wins, okay? All right. All right. Stand alongside me. As soon as you pull your weapon and aim, we let fly. Maybe you were just out gun. Happy with that, not one bit. What do you say we raise the stakes a little? You're on. Well, that's what I like to hear. How about this? You shoot four birds out of the sky before me. We'll call it a day. All right, rules are simple. We're doing first to four. You can count to four, I hope. Stand close. As soon as you see them, start shooting. Wait for it. There they go now. Shoot! You got a damn good shot, mister. Yeah, that guy Here got go. zero in both. As promised. Thanks, friend. Careful now. Next time I may not hold back. Nice shooting. Guess uh, just had the edge in the end. Yeah, right. Enjoy your win while it lasts. Yeah. 
friendly shooting competition. Uh, here we go. Bucks. Hey, you're okay, girl. But anyway, like I was saying, I think I might have said this, but I'm pretty sure in this same house that we were around when that fire started with Bill and Charles and Uncle. Yep, there's the barn. Set on fire. Easy, easy. By order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne. We do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items herein to the Bank of Rhodes. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley Clerk, November 18th, 1895. Ledger. Touch. Pistol. Thanks indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did of you. He wants to grow up to be just like you. Sam. June 7th, 1855. Dear sir, please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property. Like your old pa, you're a cunning old dog and a credit to this community. <laughs> Yours, Colonel Joshua Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Starting to maybe get a slightly clearer idea here with the words like plantation of perhaps why this man is now out of business and home. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. Some more cigs. Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey anytime. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. Okay. Where is all this old crap?
floorboard over here. Paw, God damn it. I told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck, none of us want nothing to do with you. Rance. outside dear mr. Thompson after numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees alike we must terminate your employment there's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company uh, a trap door huh <laughs> what you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah. Easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours? <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh, God damn it! Damn it. Come on, Dan! Where are you going? <clears throat> Come on! Son of a... <clears throat> No, he didn't get me. Probably on the wrong side of the Civil War, lost his whole plantation, lost all of his slaves, and now he's a gentleman no more. And apparently, he can't even keep a job though at like a train station, probably because he's mostly being racist. Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. Ugh. June 64. Yes, yeah, so it's there. This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh. Rewards January 15th, Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred, eighteen dollars. I feel like he might be able to search the cat, but maybe I'm wrong. Last time, no, okay. Whatever. <clears throat> we got what we needed to get. Now we can return back to this 
former slave owner. like a crow on top of it yeah that's kind of funny come on girl do love it now like we did that mission that burned that it's pretty burnt yeah They threw us away like, like shit on their boot. I'm, times wasn't perfect. I ain't saying that. It's just, it's all, it's all going to hell. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards have changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Old man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, do you... They are pissing What are you doing? That's, that's my history. Damn you. Damn you. I still exist. Oh. The nicest thing you could do is just put this dude out of his misery. Ah, Easy now, what? partner. And that's that. One less slave owner in the world. Let's go. <laughs> Settle down, girl. That's a good girl. I'll sell this dude's horse. All right. <laughs> Maybe we learned a bit about Jeremiah Thompson. I think I'm gonna do this one next, actually. I do want to make the pit stop itself with this horse. Thank you. 
Oh hell, someone showed up. Hey there, Clay. Yep, good pattern there. Sure to find a buyer. Careful as you go, Clive. Heck, I think the stirrups cost more than the horse. <laughs> Look at the hooded stirrups. Hey there, partner. and Jose is so they can come back to camp. Yeah. Okay, girl. But this is also a fun, a fun one to me. A good mission. Easy, girl. Howdy! Hey, partner. Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now.
Thanks there, sir. Ah, please come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Can I drive? Nope. <sighs> <laughs> nope. You can't. All right, let's get this over with. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat. I pull it clean out of his ass, a smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Using that back there. The moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about I try fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old Not bitch. Sure. Caravan ain't letting us Jose go fast. Jose really yeah. picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, he was giving it his usual flannel. The whole mission, One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really bear me some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Try to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive <laughs> that was you. on in Jesus. there, said it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. Yeah, I think I'm going about as fast as this camera. Just not as much as possible. Just going faster on my very fast Arabian. Whoa! Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them Gray's English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hiding back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs>
We're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. Hey! Hold him right there! What you want, boy? I've... I've... There, there was a thing... A, a thing... at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal, in, in Ireland. You don't say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies, uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay, <laughs> drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. I've got you sticking out the back. Funny. <laughs> uh, Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a fella to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Ah, oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite a fancy... <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. You can hold up in here till it gets dark. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine. And then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. I'll burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. Huh. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools? Payroll? Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. 
See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? I'll take care of this fella. Go on. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. for here. That's good for here. I'm gonna douse this too. Think she'll go, Arthur? Light her up! After you, sir? Yeah! Now let's burn those bloody fields to the ground. Company. Look out! Bastard! This is... 
bloody madness! Look out! More of them! This is a goddamn mess. All right, come on, we'll take those horses. Well, let's see if the payroll is actually in there. Hurry up. Oh, boy, we did good, Morgan. We did good. Great, but let's go. Get the hell out of here, fast! You're right, follow me! Got our money's worth, Arlie. Let's just get out of here first. The little fight Duchess put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Yeah. Sure. I'll come back to camp too. Tobacco? <laughs> I'm busting for the smoke. Where'd that orange go? That's Bill's. You done good, girl. Here, you 
some of them. <clears throat> Come on, just give me. Good girl. Just corresponding one. Or not. Ah, there we go. That looks like it should have. All right. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it looks just like, uh, a Trelawney and Bill one. I think I'm going to do Trelawney's so you get a taste of what he's all about. Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I hear you. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Not you again. Morning, Arthur. Don't worry. I ain't gonna kill you. Oh, well, good. Just keep your head down. All right, then. For the love of God, stop giving me that lost puppy look. So, you're speaking to me at least. Oh, it is always about your needs, isn't it? I have never known a woman with so many needs. You don't know the first thing about a woman's needs. How selfish are you? Are you even aware of the price on my head? The pressures I'm under? If you'd only talk to me, I could help. I want to help you, Dutch, but there's this wall. You can help by leaving me alone so I can actually think for once. You're a bastard, Dutch Vanderlind. Boat. Here, boy. Here, boy. Uh, whose dog is this? Whose dog? Hey, there. well, well. Good morning, Arthur. <laughs> Where did he come from? I don't know. He just wandered in. Hi, my friend. Hi. Well, then he's ours, I guess, for now. should we call him? Well, he's a wanderer. He probably did something bad. <sighs> Kane. His name is Kane. Okay. Hey, Kane. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what did Kane do? A real bad thing. Hello, So he boy. never stopped wandering. I want a pet cane. Oh. So, you gonna let him keep it? The boy needs something, after all he's been through. Sure. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Whatever you say. Cane's in camp. Look at him go. Love that.
sure that's fine. All right, I think I'm gonna do Trelawney's mission, and then we'll probably call it for this edition. So let's go see what what Trelawney is up to. Arthur, are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I've found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Rhodes! Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got a bout around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I works. could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So, where exactly are we going? Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Cars are still unkind. I've been waiting on that winning streak for some time. That's just the way of things, I guess. Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The wickedness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's 
one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay, well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there, feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. <laughs> What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Let's go, girl. Okay, let's go. This way. tell you simple as can be seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days earning a pittance the unions are whipping them up so they want something on the side like he said there strawberry could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you so I wouldn't worry too much Dear boy, all this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. Here we are. This is the spot. Easy. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Well, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Yeah. Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. Yeah. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. Mind my singing? Not at all. I'm preparing for a show. It's a free country. <laughs> Did you say a show? It's a small benefit to build an opera house in Blackwater. Did you say? Mrs. Chester Damson. 
I flatter but he... Stop the coach, my good man! Stop the coach! Easy. Show, but would you sing something for me? I, I'm looking for a mezzo soprano. Well, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. I got a train to catch. Oh, would you be quiet, you horrible little man? Madam, I've heard enough. Might I have your card? The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough. But Mrs. Damson, magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's always good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. There, now we can get <coughs> yeah, stagecoach tips. Yep. Which are nice. All right, gang. Well, first of all, love you, Dad. And uh, to all you other cowpokes and folks watching, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking the time. Hope you enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, I think that's where we're going to call it for now. And uh, we'll check you next time on Hey Dad Games. Take care of yourselves. See ya.